So there it goes. <laughs> I'm easily entertained. Hey guys, welcome back. So got another new at the drugstore video for y'all today. So today is going to be all about new goodies from Milani. So I have this bag filled with new goodies from them. I'm really excited about this video because there are a lot of definite wins in this group and I cannot wait to share thoughts with you guys. So just gonna run through the different products, show you some swatches, let you know my thoughts on the products and just do a little what's new at the drugstore video on some Milani goodies. So let's get to it. So they have a new foundation. This is the Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick. I grabbed the shade 210 Creamy Nude and I do think this works really well for me. So it says that this um, full coverage creamy foundation stick blends seamlessly to cover imperfections and even skin tone, delivers a natural matte finish that lasts up to 12 hours, transfer and water resistant formula contains bamboo powder to absorb oil and lily extract to lighten the look of pores. Available in 20 shades. So I do have this on today. I am very impressed with this. I am kind of picky about stick foundations. I feel like a lot of times they can look dry, especially if they're a matte finish. Um, and I, sometimes I find that they sort of like sit on top of the skin and just aren't as flattering because they don't feel like they like meld into the skin quite as much as some other types of foundations. So here it is right here. Um, honestly, before I read the description about this foundation when I had just put it on my skin, I would have described this as more of a satin finish or like a skin-like finish or something like that. Not dewy, I wouldn't describe it as dewy or luminous, but it just isn't flat matte and it doesn't look dry matte. At least that's not what I experienced on my skin. I do feel like it looked very skin-like. First application, I would say it was kind of light to medium sort of coverage, but I could build it up to medium. I'm sure if I kept going, I could get a little bit more coverage with it, but I wouldn't call it full, full coverage. I would call it more of a medium coverage, but it was easy to apply. It blended onto the skin nicely. I really liked the finish on the skin. So I'm impressed with this. I actually am really excited about this. I have, I don't think ever tried their regular foundation to really be able to tell you how it compares to that, their liquid foundation. I know a lot of people love that foundation and I don't know why I've never tried it, but I haven't. So I can't really tell you the difference between the two, but as far as the stick foundation, I'm really impressed with it so far. They also have a new concealer. This is the Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. And I got the shade 105 Ivory Rose, which on the website it says 02 Ivory Rose. I don't know, either 02 or 105, it's Ivory Rose and it was the second lightest shade on their website. So it says about this concealer, creamy full coverage, water resistant makeup that instantly conceals and lasts up to 12 hours. Perfect for concealing under eye circles, blemishes, and skin discoloration. Formula contains vitamin E to help replenish skin's moisture and is available in 18 shades. So use this today. I'm really, really liking this concealer too. Let me show you the color of it. So Ivory Rose is um, kind of a almost pinky tinted light shade, which I love a pinky tinted concealer just because it kind of brightens the under eyes. That's what I'm personally looking for in a concealer with my skin tone color. That's what works best for me. So I love this has kind of a pinky sort of a tint to it. Applicator wise, it is a small kind of flat on both sides, doe foot applicator, a little bit messy. Um, my container is getting a little bit messy for some reason. So I don't, you know, that's not a make it or break it, but just kind of an FYI. So this concealer, now it says Full coverage, I wouldn't describe this as full coverage, at least not on first application. Um, it's really more, what I found it to be was more kind of medium coverage, which I really like. I like a concealer that I can kind of play with, that I can apply just a little bit if I want just a little bit of coverage, but then I can build it up to get more coverage if I want it without things getting weird. And things really do not get weird when you build up this concealer, which I love about it. So I applied just a little bit, then I wanted a little bit more coverage, I applied more, I blended it with a brush, but also with my finger, worked great both ways. It wasn't looking dry, it wasn't looking cakey or heavy. It just build, built on itself really well, which I love in a concealer. I like that playtime. I like when it doesn't look dry. Sometimes I find really super full coverage concealers just difficult to work with. They, 
for me, on me personally, they start to look heavy, they start to look cakey, they look dry a lot of times. This wasn't any of that. So it was, it looks hydrating, it has good coverage, but also buildable coverage. It just looks really nice under the eyes. I would not, like I said, I would not call this full coverage. I would call it more medium, buildable up to medium to full coverage, but still a great concealer with a lot of kind of playtime in there of how you can use it. And it seems to work well both ways with a light application, but also built up. It's awesome. I also have a new brow product. This is the Stay Put Brow Sculpting Pencil. And I got the shade Taupe. So here is what it looks like. So it says, 16 hour wear, brow sculpting mechanical pencil, fills gaps, water resistant, matte finish. So there it goes. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh so much. It literally just went like, pew, like it like had an arch to it. I don't know. I'm easily entertained. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So one side is the pencil. So it's that kind of, um, it's not a super tiny sort of a brow pencil. It's not that micro brow pencil. It's kind of the more angled, um, slightly, this one's a little bit less angled than some, but slightly bigger brow pencil. So that's on one side and then the other side is a spoolie, kind of a fatter spoolie too. So that's what you've got there. Um, good packaging to it, seems to work well, seems to like when you turn it, it stays up, it doesn't start to turn back down on itself, which is nice. So the shade taupe, this one works pretty well for me. When I get it all over my brows, it's a little bit dark and almost, um, almost a little bit too taupey which usually doesn't happen um, for me. Usually things are a little bit too warm toned, but I like to mix this with something else. So I do have it on with something else today and I think the combo works really well. So it's getting pretty close to work for my hair color, but not exact. But as far as the kind of pencil it is, the formula on it, I really, really like it. It is easy to apply. It's a good formula where it's creamy enough to apply but not cream, not so creamy that it goes everywhere. It has a good balance there, which I really do like. It does have some kind of play time at the beginning, so it kind of has to set. I did notice when I touched my brows, it did start to come off, but there's very few brow products that I can think of that if I touch my brows, it doesn't come off. You know what I mean? I wasn't really noticing it fading, so much, but more if I touched my brows, it would come off, you know, when it mixed with the oils of my skin. I mean, that's almost like, when you have oil on your skin, it's almost like a makeup remover. You know what I mean? Like, it's like you're using an oil-based makeup remover and you're wiping off your brows. So it will come off in that way, but I do think it's pretty long wearing. I really like the shape of it. I think it's quick to apply on the brows. I've really been enjoying these kind of pencils lately, but just because I feel like they are an easy brow product to use. Just if you want kind of a one and done sort of a brow product step, this is totally the kind of pencil that I reach for. I find it easy to use. I find it quick to use. I like the shape of it. I like the formula of it and the color is pretty good for me. Definitely a super duper win is this bronzer. This is the Silky Matte Bronzing Powder and I got the shade 01 Sunlight. This is what it looks like. So it says a smooth matte finish bronzer with hydrating argon and Manoy oil for natural sun-kissed warmth. May be worn alone or used as contour for sculpted look. Tropical coconut scented, buildable, not buildable, blend, well it is buildable, but that's not what it says. Blendable and streak free, weightless and long wearing. So here is what it looks like. It almost feels like it has something down in the bottom of it, but I think it's just kind of slightly bulkier packaging. I don't really know. So it's a little bit, you know, kind of wide on the bottom, but this is what it looks like. Very pretty in the packaging. It does have a nice coconutty scent. It's not overwhelming though. It's, it kind of reminds me of the Physician's Formula bronzer, but not quite as strong and not quite, not that like perfumey twist to it. It's more on the coconutty side and a little bit more subtle. Beautiful packaging to it. Like I said, a little bit bulky, but still very pretty to look at. Really like the scent of it. I love this bronzer. I absolutely love it. It is beautiful. The formula is awesome. It is creamy and blendable and very easy to apply and blend out. This color is beautiful. It's a very neutral sort of a shade. This is a very light bronzer color, which is nice. It's hard to sometimes find really light bronzer colors. And this one's just beautiful. 
It's a matte without looking dry matte. It's that creamy matte sort of a formula. So beautiful color, really like the scent, really like the formula and how it applies. It's just, it is beautiful. I absolutely love this bronzer. So this is a super duper win for me. Now this was really a surprise favorite for me, for sure, because I'd already placed one order and hadn't ordered this because it's on the higher end side. It's like, I think this was like $17. But then they came out with their foundation stick and their concealer. So I went ahead and ordered this because one of you guys, and I have such a terrible memory of remembering who said what. Was it you, Leslie? Oh, I can't remember. One of y'all said that I should totally get this palette and you were right on the money. This is so pretty. So this is the 01 Luminoso Glow Shimmering Face Palette. Because when I first looked at this, I thought it was kind of like a blush highlighter palette and I wasn't really sure about the kind of the shape of the pans, but I ordered it based on what you'd said. And this is what it says about it. It says an illuminating face, cheek, and eye palette with eight complementary highlighting shades in rich bronzes, rose golds, and coral pinks. It says create a natural to blinding radiance. This creamy ultra soft powder formula blends easily wet or dry. So you can apply it with a damp brush or you can apply it with a dry brush, but it can be used as blush, highlighter, and eyeshadow. So if you think about it that way, that helps with the price you know, a little bit. It's still high end for a drugstore. I would love this so much more if it were more like 10 or $12 for sure. But this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. I don't like the packaging. I wish it were a different shape. I think it's just kind of difficult to get brushes in there other than an eyeshadow brush. It's hard to get a blush brush in here or a highlighter brush. So I wish the packaging were different, but oh my goodness, these are stunning. I have this on my eyes. I have it on the inner corners of my eyes. I have it as a blush chopper. I have it as a highlighter and this is beautiful. It is so gorgeous. These applied beautifully onto the eyes. I did use them with a damp brush. I got the product on my brush and then I sprayed my brush and it applied beautifully. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. I do have another highlighter on with it, which I'm about to mention to you, but it works well everywhere. This is shimmery um, and metallic-y. So if you don't like shimmery highlighters, I'm not sure how you would feel about this. It's definitely more metallic than shimmer for sure. But a couple of them, oh, I mean, now that I'm looking here, it's really like just this one has a little bit of micro shimmer in it and maybe this one, it's very, very subtle. It's not like it's chunky glitter, but there is a little bit of shimmer in there. So I did want to mention that to you, but it's much more metallic-y glowy than shimmery glittery or anything like that but it's stunning. It's so pretty. It's so pretty on the eyes. It's so pretty on the cheeks and cheekbones. I do wish it were a lower price point, but quality wise, it's amazing. It's really, really good. So here's that other highlighter. This is the strobe light liquid highlighter. And I got the shade 01 Afterglow. I almost didn't get this because I'm really not into liquid highlighters like this very much. I just don't find that I grab for them a lot, probably because I don't use a beauty blender to apply my foundation and I think that this would probably work best with a beauty blender. I'm more of a brush gal. So anyway, long story short, I did end up getting it, um, but I kind of debated about it. So this is what it says. It says a weightless cream highlighter with a megawatt liquid foil finish. Wear alone or mix with your favorite beauty product for all over illumination. So I do have this on my cheekbones with that palette on top of it. So pretty. This is very pretty. If you like liquid, illuminators. I think you would really enjoy this. It is a beautiful shade. It's a beautiful formula. So this is what it looks like. So it comes out of the little end applicator. This color is kind of a pinky champagne. A little bit goes a long way with it. So there's just a little bit of it. I mean, when you put this on your face, it's like, whoa. I mean, like if you put this on your face that amount, you would have this like all over. You could like bring it up your forehead and down your neck and everywhere. <laughs> Just a little bit goes a long way with it, but it's beautiful. It's a metallic -y sort of a look to it. Very glowy and intense highlighter. So yeah, this one's kind of that pinky champagne white sort of a shade. It's really pretty. It's very pretty. So if you like a liquid highlighter, I do think you will like this. I think it's easy to blend. Um, 
I really found that I prefer it using, I mean, the tiniest amount, just getting a little dab and then kind of dabbing my finger onto it and then applying it just with a tapping motion. And then it's a lot more subtle and I just didn't have it like overtaking my face. Then as you kind of get it blended out with a very light application, let me see if I can try to show you, it ends up being this more just beautiful, subtle glow. So I really liked that. And then with that palette on top of it, it gets a little bit more of that metallic-y shimmer look and it's really pretty together. They have some new lip products. So the first one I had to show you is this one right here. This is the Amore Satin Matte Lip Cream and I got the shade 01 Lavish. This is what I have on right now. It says intense bold color with a buttery soft suede-like full matte finish. Contains shea butter and soybean oil for long lasting hydration. New weightless formula cushions lips for hours of long lasting, more comfortable wear. Formerly with a built-in primer to fill in lines and smooth lip texture, available in 12 shades. So, this color that I got, 01 Lavish, is a really pretty kind of um, light terracotta warm nude, is how I would describe it. A very, very pretty color. So, love the color. Love the packaging on it. It is that kind of a flat on both sides, smaller doe foot applicator. So, same as the concealer same kind of applicator situation. So there is that. So really like the color. Um, I really, I typically really enjoy a satin liquid lipstick because usually they have a little bit of a sheen to them, not like a gloss, but just a little bit more than a true matte. They have a little bit more of a sheen to them. They usually transfer a little bit more, but they're usually more comfortable to wear. So I really enjoy a true satin liquid lipstick. This formula, I have found it to be more on the matte side. I would really describe this less as a satin matte um, and more just of a, a comfortable matte because it still feels like a matte liquid lipstick to me, but it's not the most uncomfortable matte liquid lipstick that I've ever tried. When you first apply it, it feels more satiny, but I mean, I've had this on for a while now and it definitely feels more matte. Uh, it is basically transfer resistant. I mean, it really doesn't move anywhere, so that's nice about it. But I would just really describe this less as satin and more of a comfortable matte liquid li <laughs> liquid lipstick. So I do really enjoy it um, as far as a matte liquid lipstick goes. I think it's a more comfortable version of it, but I'm not going to go out and buy 10 of these just because for me personally, I don't wear matte liquid lipsticks a ton. I do want to say, I mean, this is a more comfortable version of that, but it's just not something I'm going to reach for a ton. So I don't dislike this, but I'm not going to go out and buy a bunch more of them. And the last thing I have to share with you are some new lipsticks. These are the Bold Color Statement Matte Lipsticks. It says this iconic pigment rich formula provides superior bold color. Easy glide on formula dries comfortably and lasts for up to eight hours of wear. Infused with Minoy oil to keep lips ultra soft and smooth. Available in 24 shades. So I got two different shades. I got I Am Awesome and I Am Radiant. Cute names to them. They're all kind of like, I am fabulous. I am awesome. So just, you know, encouraging happy names. So I like it when a lipstick kind of encourages you as you put it on. So fun names to them. As far as the packaging goes, nice little, you know, like, I don't know, like a matte black sort of a packaging look to them. They look pretty. Um, you know, they're not like super wavy, but I like the look of them. And then it's your traditional sort of a lipstick bullet. So there is that. Has the color name on the bottom and the color, which is nice. So there is I Am Awesome and this one is I Am Radiant. Very pretty. Let me show you swatches of them. So this one is I Am Awesome. I must have smudged it on myself somewhere. There is I Am Awesome and this one is I Am Radiant. I Am Awesome is kind of a, I would say slightly brighter peachy nude. It has just kind of a brightness to it. And then I Am Radiant is kind of a terracotta, rusty, rosy sort of a color. That's how I would describe that one. So at first, when I first started trying these out and wearing them, they really, really reminded me a lot of their regular matte lipsticks. So I wasn't quite sure what the difference was between them, but then I kind of realized. So their regular matte lipsticks start out a little bit um, creamier feeling. I would say they start as more maybe like a satin sort of a finish and then they set down to be more matte. 
These feel like they start out a little bit more matte at the beginning. Like they kind of start their life as a matte and they stay that way. So you have to really like a matte lipstick to like these. They have great pigmentation to them. I love a matte lipstick. It's just low maintenance and easy and they fade more evenly than like a liquid lipstick usually does. So I love a matte lipstick. That's my favorite. So I really enjoy these, but I think you have to like a matte lipstick formula to enjoy these because they do feel matte. I wouldn't describe them as dry feeling, um, but they feel like a matte lipstick. So kind of is going to depend on what you're looking for in a lipstick. I personally really like them. I think they have some pretty colors in the line and I like the packaging to them. And like I said, I love a matte lipstick. All right, guys. So those are all the new goodies from Milani that I have to show you today. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please do a thumbs up if it was. Let me know down below if you've tried any new goodies from Milani. What do you think about them? Share your thoughts and opinions down below. I would love to read those. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.